think so. Yeah, there is uh, nothing more to show. Good. We are back to the aircraft. Good. So our next mission now that you have, uh, you know, the layout of the runway, will be to present you the area. The area is in this side. Is back far away there. So let me go on the chart again and show you the look of this. Okay, let's close this chart. Hide. Now we are at Tajis Abeba. This is the north. Remember, this is the south. So we have uh, our side below here to the south. Okay, to the east. Uh, to the east, <laughs> sorry, we have uh, Dredawa city. And uh, to the west, we have to go Lume and, and so on. Okay, so where is the area? Uh, just to let you know also, this is the prohibited area or the restricted area that we have at, uh, in Addis Ababa. Yeah, so you should not. I think it is the Arameda airfield uh, zone. So we remain, uh, uh, we will remain in the control zone of Addis Ababa uh, Bole. So this is the airport. Where is our, uh, how you call it, our area? To know your area, first of all, you have to detect where is the lake. You know your position, the airport. On the viewer radial, let's see the viewer radial. Uh, it's not depicted there. Like this, we know that uh, this is the north. This is must be uh, the south. So if I'm looking for uh, two, one zero radial to one zero so this must be uh, one nine zero two zero zero here must be two one zero if i'm correct or maybe here two one zero i think here two one zero but your goals your goals here it is you are going to fly the outbound on a radial two one zero from the vor alpha delta sierra this one will make a line direct from here. Let me show you. Let's choose Addis Ababa Airport like a depart point. Now you are going to fly directly to the lake here. To the route. You are going to fly direct to the lake. You see? When you are over your lake now, you are going to turn west because like this you were uh, maintaining heading southwest. Now you are going to turn heading 270 directly to the west of the lake. Yes. On the lake, you will be having one zero nautical mile from Alpha Delta Sierra. Then you turn to the west of the lake toward Tefki. This mountain name is Tefki, toward Tefki. This mountain name is a fury. Here you have Wachacha. So when you lift off like on runway 07 right and you turn heading 160 to your right, you have here Yerer slightly to your left. And far ahead, you will be having the Kuala here. This is the Kuala. Yeah, it looks far. Eh? <laughs> so now you turn like this. After you lift off, you turn like this. Then you set your heading maybe 220 or 230 to intercept the radial 210. Then you proceed, you continue your maintaining, pay attention to Fury here, and you reach over the lake. 10 nautical mile from Alpha Delta Sierra, you turn to the right, heading 270 directly. And when you will be at 1, three nautical mile from Alpha Delta Sierra on heading 270, that means you are now in the west of the station. So west of the station have a beginning a part and the end also. So how you know your beginning and how you know your end? The, only by the DME from Alpha Delta Sierra. So at one three nautical mile from Alpha Delta Sierra, you start your, you can start now your maneuver, you are in the area. Then you continue, you proceed, you proceed, you proceed until almost Tefki to a distance of 25 nautical miles. 
it, it, it will be your maximum 25 nautical miles. Sometimes it's better to remain in 23 nautical miles. When you reach 23 nautical miles, you turn back, you remain in the area. So let's put some a point here over Tefki. We add to the root. Like this, you see. So it is what we are going. We take off, we, we turn to the right uh, heading 160, then to the right again to intercept the radial 210, proceed to the lake, then take direct to Tefki. I'm trying to turn to see if that can help you better. Yeah, like this maybe. Maybe it is, we are on the apron here, you see. It is why I was saying that uh, uh, the area is in this sense, in this direction, sorry. Like this. So you proceed like this. This is what you This is Fury. So you proceed like that. Check over the lake. Boop. Tefki. Now, how to know the right and left limit to your area? So you can take just a join point from Wachacha like this toward Tefki. So try to remain in that area. Like, you know what? There is a mountain area here. So for sure you are not going to go too close to that area. So when you come, you can proceed a little bit. Then you come back. No need to... No, 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 no. You come back. Try to be far from the mountain. Not be afraid of them but take some margin like for safety so you can remain in all this area like don't be also too much close we consider that this area it is approach area for runway 07 right so you, you can't be there at this altitude maybe 9500 or 10500 in the reality there are aircraft uh, making an approach in that area like from abdig or uptrix those kind of things so you should not be here in that area so try to reduce yourself in some zone like this, yeah? I would like to have something to draw it. Let me see if I can. No, I can't move that. I should create a new point, yeah? Maybe a point here, like this. Up to the root. Like this. And you come back. Like that. That should be uh, the right limit of your 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 points. Maybe I can take it a bit wide like that, but try to avoid that area. All this area is for you, so <laughs> don't be don't need too much. Like don't request too much. And for this limit, there is a river. Normally, you you see this river going from the lake like that and coming back from this. This river like that must be your limit. Let me show you. Maybe I should move this thing. I'm talking about this river like that. Go like this, then come back from there. Like this, like this, like this, like this. Like. So it's all almost show you all the limits. <laughs> yeah, that show you all the limit. And this area limit, it is the mountain and the approach area. The area is finished. This is simple. I really hope that uh, you you clearly understand it. So what we are going to do is, after coming here, we are going to proceed in that area. We'll show you here. And uh, we will come back uh, to the lake again for our approach. And I will show you how to come back from the area. So we are going to after come back over the lake, we are going to clear Fury. We proceed like that, clear Fury. After clear Fury, we are going to turn to the base like this. And now to the destination. So <laughs> It is what our flight are going to look. We are going to take off, turn, join radial 210, come over the lake, turn to the station. This is the west of the lake. Come here, fly here, stay in that area. I will show you. Remember this uh, river, it is also a limit for you to the left side. We go, we take an eye there, we turn, we come back. <laughs> for a week. Okay, 
we go like this <laughs> in the area we join there come back go to this uh, limit or so edge this edge come back over the lake and uh, proceed to the base and to the home <laughs> so it will be, all flight will be visual flight and i uh, will show you a lot of uh, tips share with you share with you because also the senior share with me let's proceed Should we save? Yeah, I'm asking myself. Okay, okay, okay. We are back in the aircraft. So today you are my passenger and I'm assigned to present you the area. So get inside. I hope you already performed the uh, pre-flight check in the outside. Everything, you remove pitot cover, everything break, you check fuel, everything. Okay, great. So let's go. Check before engine start, prefer check complete baggage and tow bar, secure the fuel valve, normal and secure power lever idle, packing breaker release, pump, 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 set, alternate air close, electric master off, avionic master off, essential bus off, alternate static close to the right, engine master off, water switch auto, fuel pump off, all light switch off, emergency switch off and garbage. ELT arm, circuit breaker check in visual inspected, flaps up, pitot it and fuel transfer off. Pull to cage, electric master, on. Rada pedal adjuster, check yours. Passenger, you will be my passenger, you were already briefed. Seat belt, um, fasten it, check yours. Rear door close and large. Front canopy, position one, uh, position two, gaming 1000 power edge and acknowledge. MFG engine instrument on fuel page. Fuel quantity check, reset is not required, fuel temperature checked, total time in service not available, MFG engine instrument on system page, power level idle, and strobe light on. Strobe light check, where is our marshaller? Strobe light checked, on. Engine start procedure. Propeller area, clear. Right and left, clear. Area, clear. Engine master, identify, on. Engine master, on. Mm -mm, should stay open. Glow indication on, waiting for glow indication off. Glow indication off, starting. 1001, 1002, 1003. While pressure out of the region, within 3 seconds. Electrical load checked, normal. Annunciation, annunciation, SAP to it off. Checked after engine start. Wall pressure check. RPM. This RPM is not using the range. <laughs> what happened to you? Okay, I know what was the problem. Okay. RPM within the range, circuit breaker checking and visually inspected, pitot it on. Amp is increasing, voltage is decreasing, pitot it off. Amp is decreasing, voltage is increasing, and pitot it off. Avionic master on. FMS setup, hub to hub. So we can just put direct hub to hub. Uh, you don't have the direct, please. I want to select up. So we should put up. Easy to find. And the interactive. So have to have. That is okay. Fly plant. Okay. I forget something. It is the FM setup beginning that you have to go on system setup page to check that be sure that everything is okay. Good. We continue with the com radio com. So one to one decimal one decimal nine.
we switch it it's okay for the nav head we are going to use alpha delta serum good identify alpha delta serum heading uh, we are expecting a runway 07 right so we set heading 07 right which is why sometimes I just want to align up and then punch it Good. 0, 7, 2, set now that is set altitude 9500 this will be our altitude for today ok now I should say we have wind the tower we have the wind must be the wind 1 CDI VOR we are going to use the VOR today so let's set uh, uh, the radial uh, another day I will show you the VOR serviceability check if you request if you need so so I punch it to see my radial now I'm going to set radial 210 it is the radial toward the lake okay 211 210 okay so after takeoff you are going to take to join this radial and proceed to the lake what again um, okay transponder 7 vfr is okay for me time reference now we set the time reference uh, the rotation speed to 60 knots and uh, for the vy you can say put 88 knots sometimes the instructor will just tell you to put uh, 72 knots the same thing as uh, vx that is good <laughs> we finish uh, we finish that setup fma setup complete top alert test disconnect button press Electrical trim, manual trim not working. Autopilot uh, on, autopilot and flight director appear on the PFD. Control locked, disconnect button press, autopilot off, go around button press, flight director command claim, and flight director off. Autopilot test complete. Through light check on as required. Position light uh, on, check position light on uh, flaps full travel check flaps take off light in transition and visually inspected flaps landing light in transition and visually inspected then flaps take off altimeter goes set standby horizon synchronized with artificial horizon transponder ground mode engine temperature checked parking brake sugar before takeoff check, parking brake set seatbelt first and check your so just back this up. Rear door close and latch, front canopy close and latch, door one in light uh, off. Uh, CQ breaker checking and visual inspected, uh, electric elevator trim forward, manual trim forward, backward, manual trim backward, and manual trim on takeoff. Uh, flaps are checked, takeoff, control check, control area free, 360 degree check. Mm, good. So, aileron check, control to the right, aileron, right aileron up, left aileron down, control to the left, left aileron up, right aileron down, control neutral, both aileron neutral, elevator check, control forward, elevator backward, control backward, elevator up, uh, up. rudder check, rudder to the right, pedal to the right, rudder to the right, pedal to the left, rudder to the left, pedal neutral, rudder neutral. Good. Power level idle, MFG engine instrument on system page, and engine instrument check gearbox in the green. Okay, we don't need a warm up, we warm up, we continue with the voter switch. So, voter switch auto to alpha. Before we do that, I let me remember power idle, alert on the brake, area clear, voter switch auto to alpha. No change alpha to auto auto to bravo rpm is changing and stabilizing and bravo to auto no change ACU test power idle alert on the brake propeller area clear then we press and hold ACU bravo and alpha fell appear on the pfd what happened here
Hello everybody, we were cut. I'm back now with the same setup. I just this time uh, see sometimes to set your to set hub to high you can go directly here to the nearest page nearest page then on the nearest page you have uh, all the nearest airport to you and since it is a hub and we are a hub you have the blue lighting thing on it so you press direct to hub enter enter and you have it direct to hub very simply sometimes you can do it like that let's go now for a cv test power idle alert on the brake propeller area pair left and right clear after clear we press and hold you see you when alpha fell first propeller cycle more than 1900 rpm and stabilizing second propeller cycle more than 1900 rpm and stabilizing ACV alpha fell off, ACV test button release, ACV test performed, pitot it's not required, transponder VFR mode, standby, fuel pump to go, MFD default page, and packing brake to go. So, now we contact uh, the ATC, we request our taxi, and we proceed, simple. <laughs> okay, we go to the ATC. Request uh, remaining the traffic now. Let's uh, request the east, east depart and respect around the zero seven right. Full ground diamond Echo Tango Alpha X ray Bravo ready to taxi east departure with whiskey. Mm -mm. The runway is uh, uh, runway is two five left. Taxiing hold short runway, 25 left, using taxiway cross runway, 07, left Alpha, Diamond Alpha X-Ray Bravo. So you know what, we are going to simulate, uh, like what happened in the simulator. Uh, we generally take off on runway 07 right, so we are going to taxi via Bravo 1, then Bravo 2, let me show you here. Okay, let's open the chart. So we are actually here, we are actually here, there, on the MRO, so we are going to taxi via yeah, Bravo 1, then cross 07 left, sometimes they can call it also uh, 25 right, because it is also 25 right, then you cross it and you join Bravo, which is why sometimes, by the way, how we start the thing, you set the frequency and you contact, the ground, Echo Tango Alpha X-Ray Bravo. Good morning, sir. Good morning, X-Ray Bravo. Go ahead. And now, after greeting him, you can start your request. Ground. X-Ray Bravo at usual parking or MRO parking. Two souls on board. Fuel endurance seven hours if you have a full tank or you call your endurance. Training area west of the lake. Request taxi. Simple. You see? Very simple. So to make it directly, it will be like this. Ground X-ray Bravo at usual parking, two thousand bar, fuel endurance seven hour. Training area west of the lake. Request taxi instruction. Simple. So in the taxi instruction, you will be given the runway, how to taxi to join this runway and also the QNH. So the answer will be X-ray Bravo taxi to holding position runway 07 right via Bravo 1 cross 07 left Bravo QNH 1025 wind ta, 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 ta. so you you will just read back the QNH and the taxi clearance you see clear to clear to taxi to hold in position around with 07 right via taxiway Bravo 1 cross 07 left then Bravo X-ray Bravo QNH 1025 you say QNH before your call sign so that is generally what you have to do before now proceed and as soon as you receive that you are going to set your QNH here in the big note don't forget to set it here here I have a shortcut I press B and it is synchronized 
And after do that also, you set your heading. Why your heading? The heading of your runway, because you were given a runway. By setting the heading of your runway here, you will not forget what is your runway. Trust me, that happened in the business. <laughs> so now, after doing that, you are going to make before taxi check. So before taxi check, what you do? You check that you set the q and and the heading. You come on here, taxi light on. You check that the chocks are removed with the marshaller and parking brake removed. Now you are ready for taxi. Taxi. We are advanced power. Slightly. The aircraft is moving away from the parking area. Power idle. Alert on the brake. To check the brake. My brake are effective. Check yours. You check yours. You give me the control and we continue. For now, steering test. Advancing power, aircraft is moving, steering to the left. Yeah, heading increasing, steering to the right. Heading decreasing. Steering test complete. Then we continue our taxi. Ground speed 10 knots. Now we are approaching Bravo. You can see on the MFT. Bravo 1. If you want, I can open also the chart. You can see we are now joining Bravo 1. That's it, and we cross here and we join the holding position. We continue our taxi. Slowly, slowly, we continue our taxi. We check right, left, wind is calm. We cross. I'm going to join now Bravo. So we are approaching holding position, power already idle, slowing down, good. The first line we cross, it is for runway 07 left. This one is for runway 07 right. We, we stop here and now we request frequency change. Ground. X-ray Bravo at holding position runway 07 right via Bravo. Request frequency change. Now he will give you the tower frequency. Contact tower on 118 decimal 1. 118. We say decimal 1. I'm not going to say it but because this guy will disturb us. <laughs> and you flip flop. You contact our Boli tower. Echo Tango Alpha X-ray Bravo. Good morning, sir. At holding position runway 071 via taxiway Bravo, request line up. Good morning. Clear for line up and wait. Clear for line up and wait. X ray Bravo. You come quickly. Check, check, check. Doors are closed. Fuel pump identify. Confirm. Fuel pump on. Landing light on. Is it on? On now. Okay. On. Flaps check. Take off. Manual trim. Take off. Fuel valve normal. Parking brake release, approach and arrival area clear. So we taxi on the runway, we advance power for taxi sufficient speed. The craft is at 20, moving, we counter at left hand tendency. Yeah, the correction is not easy this time. Sorry. So now we check that the runway is clear, we are going to take a bit distance to line up early. If we were following the yellow line, we are going to line up very far there. So it is recommended to use all the runway available for you. <laughs> we are taking the runway by intersection and talking about taking all the runway. Okay, we line up. And you see now, just to soft to line up, I'm using too much runway. Okay, Tower X Ray Bravo runway 07 right ready for takeoff. Then clear for takeoff, X-ray Bravo. So clear for takeoff, runway 07 right, X-ray Bravo. 
line of check aircraft nose align with front with center line magneting and SSI heading are reading and we heading or set temperature check because it's not required have leave power check good we are good for takeoff and run with 07 right then little briefing again we are going to turn on right 160 perform claim to cruise check then intercept the radial 210 set here and proceed to the lake very simple guys and ladies <laughs> okay let's go take off power 1001 1002 1003 take off power set available power check releasing break for order trying to maintain the center line very sensitive speed is alive and increase in 60 knot and position one position is it off all in green 50 knot protecting the nose 60 take off Hey, 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 hey. Wow, what happened? <laughs> okay, climbing with speed 72. Maybe. Safe attitude, speed check, flap start. Now we lower the nose. We build some speed. Speed is approaching 88. Oh, 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 this usually freeze my control. Okay, continue. Speed is approaching 88. Power is 90 normally. Now we turn to the right, heading 160. Thousand five hundred is approaching. Time to cross check. Fuel pump off. Landing and taxi light off. Flaps up. Parking brake check. Release. And we level. No, we continue climbing. We are going to nine thousand five hundred. So we roll up on a heading one six seven. Then we continue immediately. Normally, if you roll out to perform your climb to cross check, then you continue. We are going to take heading 220 or 230 to intercept the heading. I need some power. Okay, we are maintaining our heading 233. That is good. We try to maintain this one. Correcting for a climb speed, which must be 88 knots. The power is also corrected now, and we continue climbing. So we want to intercept uh, the viewer radial to one zero. We can see that there is the lake. This is the lake to the left side. Nine thousand two hundred, three hundred to go. We should collapse. Two hundred to go. Now you can, we forgot the departure message, we should call Bolita X-ray Bravo. After departure, now 9,500 and proceeding to the lake, or west of the lake. Then the ATC will tell you, call over the lake. 100, we reduce power to 60, we maintain 9,500 and now we start our trimming technique. <laughs> Deviate from our heading. So we keep the um, the lake in sight. And continue. So now, how to trim in straight and level flight? Now, actually, my hand is completely off of the joystick, and the aircraft is maintaining well his attitude. So first of all, what to do? I have to call it. Tonight speed slightly this aircraft is very performant on the reality okay the we are approaching to intercept our radio and we start turning slightly first take heading altitude speed heading altitude speed this fight is your fight man or boy or girl <laughs> 
to DC because we can send altitude. Now we are on the radial. So now to track the radial, the first thing you have to do it is to determine the wind direction. That is tricky for me. Okay, it is a bit uh, different in my in this. Uh, okay, let's freeze and show you what I want to talk about. Oh, where is this barbell? Oh, the barbell disappeared. Oh, is there? <laughs> okay. Okay, it is quite good. This is the wrong way. You have the wrong way here. Then, uh, if you go in the so you can see that based on our flight plan, we are here actually, over this ridge there. So we are going to continue direct to the lake here, to the lake there. But if you see now, we are a bit to the right, to our radial. So it is what I wanted to show you. I think we are too much to the right. Yeah, we should be to the left here on uh, this side like that. Yeah. So I think the simulator is a bit uh, yeah shifted something like that. But generally, it is what you have to do. You take off your plane and uh, you join the radio. You have the area here. You have the koala there, the lake, Fury, and Watcher. So Tefki, it is behind there. We come to the lake. We, we come over the lake. Then Tefki is there. You see? This is Tefki. Okay, let's continue. We on freeze. So now I was saying uh, how to track uh, um, on a, the radial. So as soon as you establish yourself on the radial, you have to check for the wind, the crosswind especially, and apply wind correction. So assuming that I will uh, have it with uh, since it is a radial 210, maybe heading 210. If I have a crosswind of two nodes coming from the, the right, I have to set my radial, uh, my heading 211, one node which is the half of uh, the wind coming. So we have two nodes of crosswind. We take the half one node. We add on our we add or subtract depending if the wind is coming from the left or the right on our heading okay oh sorry while talking i was descending so we are coming over the lake let me show you the dme, the DME there. so you can see the dme we are now 7.3 nautical mile over the lake we should be at 10 nautical mile in some speed with altitude uh, this is also like a tip like if you have a minimum slight correction sometimes you can just trade your altitude like you are too high the speed is low don't need to touch power just lower the nose lose some altitude to gain some speed so sometimes you can trade your speed with your altitude or your altitude with your speed like that now we are at 8.6 nautical mile we can see Tefki. See, this is Tefki. And this is another mountain there, Ilbo or Ibo, I think. Nine nautical mile, you see. On the MFD, we are entering the lake. So we assume that the middle of the lake we should be at 10 nautical mile. And actually, we are 9.7. Nine point nine, so almost ten now, almost on the middle of the lake. So we contact tower, tower X-ray Bravo over the lake, maintaining nine thousand five hundred. Now the tower will tell you, okay, call, um, call back in the area. Yes, call like call back west of the lake. So we set our heading two seven zero, and we turn to the right to heading two seven zero. So it it will be almost on the 
defki so i'm setting the heading well term okay 270 270 we continue turning 120 degree every time we we'll add some tennis rudder 270 is approaching then rolling out and also in those kind of flight uh, vfl flight please easier the job to yourself how to easier the job to yourself take an eye mark outside there actually my eye mark will be maybe this or like our tefki touching my uh, case my engine case from here and i will hold it it is more easier than following a heading by looking on the pfd or uh, the mft man sure can you drive a car by watching uh, a magnetic heading like if i give you a magnetic heading in the car and i tell you man don't look outside drive by looking the magnetic heading uh, that will be a bit hard but looking outside it is very easy to do a job so take an outside air mic maintain it and make a slight correction no one wants you to make a zero zero you are not a robot we develop an autopilot to do zero zero we don't want you to come and show you zero zero we want for you to feel comfortable while flying without to lose because you know there is something we call disponibility of mind if you are using 80% of your mind to fly the aircraft as soon as you get some emergency you are lost you can do nothing more because you already using you are already using 80% now 20% may be not be enough to cover the emergency so try to easier the job to yourself and make the the flight easy for you like that you can have more energy to focus on safety issue okay our aircraft is trimmed heading is maintained altitude is maintained this is your prayer you should repeat this thing every day speed heading altitude speed heading altitude speed heading altitude this must be your prayer then you check your engine instrument how to check the engine instrument you check the engine instrument system page fuel page fuel transfer is not required you come back you trim your aircraft and you make a hand of check this is a level of check to make a level of check first you say your nose is aligned with the horizon or artificial horizon is aligned your nose is aligned with the horizon speed is maintained heading is maintained altitude is maintained power setting good for the cruise engine instrument check fuel pay check system pay check fuel transfer not required aircraft trim hand of check and you release we are getting slight slight altitude and you release not you release the control you easier your hand to make sure that the aircraft is trimmed By the way guys we are now in the sector we are now at 15 nautical mile for So as you can see this is the lake and we are on heading west approaching Tefki and now we are at 15 nautical mile so we are already in the uh, in the area and if you remember the ATC told us to report so we have to call him Tawa X-ray Bravo west of the lake maintaining 9500 call ops normal after 20 minutes we we'll call you ops normal after 20 minutes don't you should remember that you pro uh, you give a promise to someone that you will call him after 20 minutes so remember him that is said so we are approaching ibo i want to open the map for you you can see where we are now we are here let me go a little to join this part so we are approaching Tefki now then we are going to proceed to the right see the right limit and go back to the left see the left limit and go on the lake and go back to home i hope you are following me and you are enjoying so engine instrument also keep on eyes on and your eye on engine instrument and also another thing that i learned or we all learn while uh, flying navigation flight man you should always have a force landing area inside like here good the wind is calm okay this field look great for a force landing area those one also you should always having have, in, have uh, 
a landing force a landing area inside so Ibo one thing okay I wanted to come here and show you clearly you see let me show you where is the aircraft the aircraft is below us oh it's it is not so small we can see <laughs> okay continue going up okay i think uh, it is enough even maybe a bit too much high okay So you can see this is the runway there. You see, this is the runway. So after the runway, you proceed directly to the lake. This is Fury. This is Wachacha. You proceed directly to the lake. And now from the lake, you can continue directly to Tefki. This is your limit. And your right limit, it is until but don't be too close to the Wachacha. And also this is the approach area between Wachacha and Fury. This is approach area toward runway 07, right? So also avoid that area, like this triangle like this, avoid it. Try to just remain in that area. Yeah, that is wide for you, man. And the left limit is this lake. You see that lake, Conti uh, the river, the river continue like this and come back like that and pass behind Ibo, um, behind Tefki. This is uh, the Ibo that I was talking about, I think. So, that is great. This is uh, Zukwala, and this is Yere. If you see Yere, that means the runway, it is here. Yeah. Now, let's back. Okay, good. So we can turn and see this area. I think you already have a look from sight, so... Okay, let's proceed. I have to climb, I'm losing my attitude. So this is a Wachacha mountain. Let's make a 360, look in Wachacha, Fury, then proceed to the other edge of the area. in my airspeed I need some power now the power gives me some lifts I have to trim down to maintain the altitude so now you have watch each other should I should I climb increase this view okay I have the lake here so this is Fury. Behind Fury we have Yere, we have the lake, then Zekwala, which is on the right. This is a Zekwala. Very good eye mark while you are performing in the area. Hey, my god, 9,800. That is enough for an instructor to kill you. You should know that for the standard, your limit is a plus or minus 100. Having uh, 300 like me, I mean, uh, that is not good. So reducing power, trimming down. And let the aircraft lose attitude. Okay, so we make our turn. You can see I was talking about this limit for you. Try to just avoid this, uh, uh, the area between those two mountains. 
yeah, this area, avoid this area like this. You can fly here towards the lake, no problem. So the other side now, which is the river, yeah, that we have, let's proceed there to have a look. On our fly plan, so we yeah. are. So we went here, we just make a little turn, and now we are proceeding. Okay, 9600, how to lose again. So we use a lot of this river as a, a limit. And we are now, you have to check also your DM. We are now one six nautical mile. You should know that you should remain between one three nautical mile and uh, two three nautical mile, maximum 25 nautical mile. You should remain flying. You go, you come back, you go, you come back, like you come until Tefki. You are performing until you reach Tefki, then you make 180 and you continue performing, approaching the lake, then you make 180 or so. It's very important for you to remain in your area because it's a matter of safety. Uh, guys, ladies, um, nowadays aircraft are able to fly by themselves. So we were there to add uh, a safety factor. We are fighting now to prove, to give a proof that we human beings have our place in a cockpit that is not a job for a computer so for that we need to add a safety factor so a structure will not never allow you to jeopardize the safety you can be lacking skill no problem that will come with time nobody is born with uh, a skill of flying lacking in the procedural that is bad but also we can manage uh, with time but lacking safety that is not possible so while you are performing in the area lacking a safety can be just extending extending the area going outside of the limit of the area maybe another aircraft is uh, um, is performing there because you should know that we have west of the lake uh, this is the lake we have west of the lake but we have also southwest of the lake, which must be in that area here. So if you imagine you are performing here, then you are still, uh, you go over the limit. The other guy also working there, try to come to the edge of his limit and boom. Okay, so safety factor first. This is the river that will follow you. This river smaller river turning like this and coming back so those one are your limit and this is Tefki <clears throat> the far mountain here I think their name is Guragi mountain if I'm wrong not sure huh? not sure <laughs> but I guess it is uh, Guragi mountain uh, this we have the Kuala this is the uh, prohibited area or restricted area we have also Arameda airport there so if Guys, if you like it, if you want me to go and visit that airport, visit Zekwala and Yere, just tell me in the comments, write it below in the comments, and we will do that. Okay, so, I'm climbing again, so that is the river, and that river continue directly and come back. So I think that is enough, we can come back from here, go directly over the lake and go back to home showing you the map one time more so you see we came here and you should know the limit the age is this river so we are already very close to that river and we are going to turn now directly to the lake and go back to home so to go back to home first of all you have to request you have to call the ATC and ask that you want to come back so tower x -ray, bravo west of the lake maintaining now 9500 request landing instruction so by asking landing instruction they will give you the active runway the wind the qnh and if there is a another information so you request landing instruction the, the destination instruction will be given like this active runway 07 right so wind calm or maybe wind 090 10 knots 
sometimes the instructor can trick you how by uh, giving you strong wind for the runway or the tail a tail wind for the runway in that case you should pay attention and say confirm active runway 07 right maybe the wind is uh, 25 250 or 252 uh, two, maybe 10 knots so that will be a tail wind at 10 knots for a diamond which is not possible so you have to pay attention to that also active runway 07 right wind uh, cal QNH uh, 1016 call back over the lake maintaining 8500 now we reply active runway 07 right QNH 1016 will call back over the lake maintaining 8500 x-ray now we should plan our descent this aircraft lose 1000 feet by descending for 3 nautical miles so the lake is there i'm now joining the i joined the the radial to one zero so i can read the distance we are to one seven nautical mile so at one four nautical mile i will start descending toward the lake to lose one thousand feet and establish a bit of so okay so at uh, one four we'll start descending we we'll only need three nautical mile but i'm adding i'm adding one nautical mile for margin then here you perform the descent approach check so descend approach check, you take your checklist, landing data receive, altimeter both set, we set the QNH when we receive them, come nav FMS set, seat belt fastener, check yours, adjust back race up, fuel transfer not required, oh required actually, we forgot to check the fuel transfer, fuel transfer on, parking brake release, fuel pump and landing light to go, you finish, then you brief, we are now 1.5 nautical mile, then you brief. You brief uh, what you are going to do sir today i will be performing the approach it will be a normal approach on runway 07 right at Bully international airport feed elevation 7625 feet one for nautical power to 25 then we start descending it will be a normal approach with a full flaps approach speed 77 knots for our intended touchdown point will be the 1000 foot marker point if any abnormality happen during the approach or unstabilized approach i will call go around and we will perform the go around according to the procedure positive pitch full power rudder as necessary speed 67 knot flaps takeoff speed climbing with speed 72 knot until safe altitude retracts flaps and join the traffic pattern and notify the ATC. If uh, any anomaly happen, you will have the check, uh, the control. I will be having the checking. So you make some brief like that, okay? So you, you do your brief. Me, I used to uh, make a short briefing generally. So it's as you want. You make your briefing quickly to be ready, and uh, that's it. So we are approaching the lake. We are now one, two, and five nautical miles. And we are descending. So, and now we should think uh, the fuel transfer is okay now. Fuel transfer off. You continue checking your engine instrument. All engine instruments are good. So, even sometimes you can brief how to join your traffic pattern. Now we are going over the lake. We maintain 8500 over the lake. Then we turn heading 160. Then, after heading at 6 nautical mile, heading 340, we join the left brief and then we turn on final. So you can add that also on your briefing, 8,500, adding power to level off. I'm trying to maintain the retail now, so uh, you can also punch sometime, which uh, then sort of will all, all, always show you that to punch, to come back, they call it the homie. Tower X-Ray Bravo at 10 nautical miles over the lake, maintaining 8,500 feet. Report uh, left, report right base on the center right, etc. Okay. We'll report right base, etc. So now we set heading 160. Uh, heading 060, sorry. <laughs> Start being tired. So we turn heading 060. Why? Let me show you why. So we are actually there over the lake so we are going to turn slightly like this to avoid fury we have fury here 
then establish we are going to join the FX. Just follow me. <laughs> Okay, now we check also because I see nautical mile we are going to perform six nautical mile check. We are now nine nautical mile is worth return heading zero six. Even heading zero six it is just for some time to clear fury, then you turn to heading zero three zero. Sometimes it is not even need to turn to heading six zero depending to how you approach uh, the lake okay just the main point is just to clear fuel just to clear fuel so now quickly you come back on heading 030 waiting for system to come check we maintain speed below 100 because we are going to take uh, flaps soon let me correct the heading the heading is not correct the swearage is a good eye mark if you punch the viewer Viewers maintain this line to come to me, but we are not going to the viewer because we have to turn here. Yeah. Seven which can mine, we can anticipate it. So fuel pump, you can find confirm on, fuel pump on, landing taxi lights are on, speed we maintain speed below 100 to take flaps. And we set heading 340. There is another thing that you can do also. It is for the, the viewer, you can set the runway uh, heading. It will help you a lot, the runway heading. So we turn to heading 340 and I take flaps, take off. Contera to flaps effect, Contera to flaps effect. Next speed, 85, always call the next move. My speed is a bit high, my speed should be uh, 985. Uh, mm. we, we turn a bit late because uh, this uh, bolting must be your eye mark, or you must be aligned correctly on it. So I think we turn a bit late. So this is the wrong way there. I should maintain my okay. Just the heading is not correct. Three four two. Now the, this uh, bolting white thing, it is your eye mark. And I was talking about the the vo. You can set the wrong way. That means zero seven right. That will help you for your final turn. So I said zero seven two. That's correct. We maintain this heading. Now we call the tower. Tower X-ray Bravo training uh, right base around 07 rates. You say call final, so we will call you final X-ray Bravo. We maintain the altitude for the time being. We maintain. This is there is no problem since we are a bit uh, far. While well, we are going to turn on our runway three. Uh, runway 07 right we are going to descend so you should identify normally the traffic pattern is made on this white building and we maintain 8200 or 8300 here since we are a bit far we can maintain 8500 no problem so we are going to turn 45 degree we turn toward the runway tower x-ray bravo turning final runway 07 right aircraft is very performant. Is it Papa Charlie? <laughs> because I don't know why. If a little power setting, I'm having a lot of speed. So now I can try to estimate my glide path and start descending according to that. My speed, my speed. So we line up. Oh, easy to match the turn. So now, since you are on final, you check the speed. Speed must be below 90. Then you take your flaps landing. Tower X ray bravo final, runway 07 right for full stop. Clear for full stop, runway 07 right. Clear for full stop, runway 07 right, X ray bravo. So now we are fighting to align and maintain speed 77. I have to correct the speed. 
speed 77 for radio center line wind check wind calm the glide bars is good for me we try to trip a bit up now to easier the transition later 7900 Stabilize approach and continue. The speed. If you have a good power setting, no need of big correction for to maintain air speed or altitude or glide pass. But uh, sometimes, if the weather is very bumpy, you are going to hit some power. Here, I reduce my descent. This is where I add some power to maintain the speed. Now, final speed check, start transition, reducing power, power idle, one meter. Now, waiting the aircraft to lose energy, correct in the runway center line, and touch the ground. Correct for center line. Okay, this is Bravo, we miss Bravo. We can take Charlie, so I'm not taking the break, let the aircraft roll. Approaching Charlie, this is Charlie. Slowing down. Okay, Tower X ray. Bravo, normal after landing, and uh, he will tell me take first left, take Charlie. Now, after passing the runway, you can stop here. Tower is ray bravo clear the runway. So he will tell me to contact ground on one to one decimal nine. I flip flop. I say thank you. One to one decimal one. I set it here and then I flip up on ground. Call the ground and I request to go back to MRO. So ground can tell you taxi via two five right. You say not cross via two five right. So I'm going to take two five right. Then bravo one. Oh, someone is taking off. Let me show you maybe here. So we are actually on Charlie here. This is 25 right. So you can take via 25 right. Then Bravo 1 and to the usual packing. So it is what we are going to do. But after landing, fuel pump off. Landing light off. We need the taxi light and flaps up. We can continue taxi. We have one power for taxi sufficient speed. Okay, we check the runway is clear. Then we take via the runway. Actually, that um, recording this video, uh, the active runway is a runway uh, 07 on left at uh, Bole International Airport because there is a uh, work uh, ongoing uh, between uh, taxiway. I think it is between taxiway Delta and uh, I don't know, but there is a work around here. So because of that, so you can see that on the new tank. Let me check. You can see on the new tank that uh, there is a work between Taxiway Charlie and Taxiway Mike. Okay, Charlie and Mike. Oh, this is this portion. Charlie and Mike. So uh, the runway 07 right is closed. So we have to take, uh, yeah, I'm not looking the road. Did I pass it? No, it is ahead. Okay, for a taxi on ground, uh, it is by feeling, no? It is by feeling, uh, starts by moving slowly, then with time you will get uh, 
confident enough to speed up a little bit. Uh, keep uh, keep your attention. Don't get out of the taxi or any taxi. So for taxi, when we advance power, the aircraft left hand tendency will uh, tend to make the aircraft go to the left. So before, while applying power, you have to step a little bit on a right rudder or a little bit on the right brake. You have feel, you have to feel it. And you, you should know that the air stream coming from the propeller is very efficient. So even at that time, using the rudder can give you some little force. Okay, so you should judge it and uh, measure it between uh, the brake and uh, the rudder, how, how much you to use. Then your aircraft start moving. While your aircraft start moving, you step a little bit on the right rudder and you can make keep, make the aircraft right because the aircraft have some tendency to go to the left. Now you, you are going to deflect the right rudder a little bit to the right. So which will try to... Uh, pull the nose of the aircraft to the right so we have for a force pulling to the left another force pulling to the right and if you give the proper force to the right the enough for not too much not less to counteract the left hand tendency your aircraft will go down straight straight you see easy but uh, uh, the ground is not uh, uniform or soft so you are going to add some a little uh, adjustment again and again so i think we are going to join uh, our parking here okay let's go to make uh, 180 so to make that with a look okay here we take uh, left brake we advance power and uh, we try we can use also the rudder and we turn release a bit the brake to let the aircraft move then you hold it again We are back to home. Okay, uh, parking, parking brake. I hope but while holding the brake, parking brake set. Now I can release my brake, and we can perform after parking. Uh, parking check. Parking check. Parking brake set. Power idle for one minute. ELT checked, not activated. You push the flip-flop button. You hold it until uh, the frequency of emergency come up. Engine, instrument, engine system page check. Fuel page check. No annotation. Uh, Avionic master off. Electrical consumer all off. Taxi light, position light, except strobe light because well, since the engine is on, the strobe light must be on. Mm, what again? Flaps are up. It will fuel transfer off. Engine master now. Firm. Engine master off. Let's continue the checklist. Off and uh, strobe lights. Off. Electric master. We have to check before the red cross. So you wait until the red cross appear. Like those kind of red cross. I don't think they are going to appear here, maybe here. No, so they are not going. But in the real aircraft, they will be a red cross there. You wait the red cross up here. Then electric master of start key remove there. Thank you so much by following me on this flight. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy. And uh, we are back at Bole International Airport. I just want to tell you bye-bye and see you next time.